Yo, what's up guys? It's Iron J Moto and today we are going to install a Dynojet Power Commander on my dad's 2020 Lowrider S. Um, it's worth mentioning that I actually already took this out and put a map that closest fits my dad's setup. Um, I'm not going to go through that, but just know that I already flashed a map or a preset onto the Power Commander. So all I got to do right now is install it so that that is what this video is going to be about is just installing it onto the bike um my dad's got the basani radial sweepers and uh i mean it's the stock air filter but i mean it is a high flow air filter so we're just gonna roll with that until um you know my dad's eventually gonna upgrade it but we did do a full exhaust so wanted to get him a tuner on his bike so all right jumping right into it first thing you want to do is take off the side covers so i'm going to take off the left and the right side side covers this is what the left side looks like with the side cover off but before we jump into all that i'm going to go ahead and take off the right side now make sure you guys always have everything solidly put into the bolts because these bolts tend to strip extremely easy. All right, that's what the right side looks like. All right, let's open up the Power Commander. And again, I had already installed a map on the Power Commander. I'm not, this isn't a video on how to put a map on it, but I'm telling you guys, it's super easy. You literally just download the map off their website that best fits your setup. It's in, they have included a USB cable, and then all you do is just download the map and then flash it or send it over to the tuner. But now that we have this out, um, we're going to see which ones unplug from this harness into this. So what we need is the access behind all of this. So there's actually a bolt that's right under there that we're gonna take off so that we can then bring this forward to access what's behind it. So once you get that bolt out right there, there's a little tab here that you have to squeeze and then you can pull this out. All right, and now that that cover is off, this is what we wanna access in there. All right, and in there you have this black, gray, and brown connector. What you wanna do is disconnect the black and the gray. And in order to do this, you're actually gonna pull this red tab out and then pinch in here and then slide it out. So same thing here, you pull this little red tab out and then you push in here and pull out. All right, so now that we disconnected those from the ECU, here is the power commander, and that's what it looks like in whole. But now you have these cords that will now replace what we had up there. So the black one was on top, the gray one is in the middle. So now we're gonna hook those up into the ECU. And then make sure you hear that click when you're putting them in. There we go. So now that we have it plugged in, we're gonna actually put the plate that we took off in the beginning back over to cover it. And then we're gonna connect the DinoJet Power Commander cords back to the stock cords. And then like before, you wanna make sure this tab that's up here goes back in, you snap it back in. There we go. And then don't forget, we had that bolt that goes on under there. Okay, and now this is weird, but to me, the only way I identified which one was the black one versus the gray one, uh, once you get to this point, is the black one had all the colors in the wiring. So you can see that there's like a white and green one. There's just, um, there's like yellow. I knew that was the black one. And then the other one 
was just like a red like darker colors um for the gray cord so the one with all the lighter colors was the black connector so i'm going to plug that one in here and then remember you have these tabs in there so we'll close that for those and then now same for the gray make sure you get that snapped in and then same thing with the black little tab just shut that off and so now that that is hooked up we'll definitely have to tuck that in but before we even get that far now you have the power commander module in your hand and what you have to do now is swing it through feed it to the other side and then we'll have a little home above the battery on the other side um, that will velcro down so from right here we'll work this in through here cleanly as possible so we can get to the other side all right so now that we have it pulled through what i'm going to do is make the home for it right here but before i do that i'm going to put some velcro on the bottom of this and uh, so that way it can stick in there and it's not just you know shuffling around so i put the velcro on right here and so since i don't want to just guess where i'm putting the velcro i'm going to put the other half and stick it here like this already on it and then i'll just take the tape off of it and then kind of find a home in there all right so it's installed it's fed through there and before i actually clean up all the wires and the side covers back on this would probably be a good time to just turn the bike on and make sure everything runs properly All right, that's pretty much it. That's how you install the Power Commander on a soft tail, uh, low rider S. I'd imagine this works for all the newer soft tails. Um, so hopefully this video helps you guys. Um, all I gotta do now is clean up the wiring, um, even on the other side, and clean up this uh, the wires and hopefully get the side covers on um, easily. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Comment below if this helped you. Uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Till next time, guys. Peace.